hello and welcome to my youtube channel tech and tips with king in this video i am going to show how you can get the joystick in the executive windows emulator application so let's get into the video in this video i am going to show how you can install input bridge in your android and how you get that in executive windows emulator application means how you can get the joystick uh, while playing the buttons extra buttons joystick buttons uh, in executive windows emulator application why i am showing this because there is no uh, option in executive while what we executed using from very long time there is no joystick button in that executive so recently i have shown the new emulator to you which is win later in this win later application uh, there is an option for joystick buttons but there is uh, no uh, no option in the executive windows emulator application uh, from since very long time i am using executive windows emulator application and i have uh, installed a lot of softwares in this executive windows emulator application so from now i am not only going to show how you can run pc software in your android but from now i am going to show how you can uh, also or you can uh, run and install and play any pcs game in your android with using executive windows emulator application the same application we were from we long term we are using you don't need to require any install any uh, extra application so if you want to use winlator application you can use but i have checked this is not perfectly working in low-end devices or old devices i am using very old device uh, it's uh, maybe having snapdragon 800 something so it's not working perfectly but some there are other devices like uh, snapdragon 7th generation 8th generation phones they are perfectly working with it so in future i try to show that also for currently i am working on the exegear windows emitter application only and going to bring the videos of exegear windows emitter application only in future i try to make that uh, video on win letter application so in this video i am going to show how you can get the joystick in your exegear windows emitter application uh, if you are my old uh, subscriber you know how to use exegear windows emitter application if you don't know if you are first to this video let me just explain you exegear windows emitter application is an application where you can is an emulator where you can can uh, install any pc software but or you can also uh, install and play any pc games in that application but there is no joystick to play you have to play with keyboard or physical keyboard in my previous video i've already shown that how you can uh, play game with physical keyboard or you can play with the uh, android screen but uh, if i get this keyboard in the screen it will cover all uh, all of the screen so in this video i'm going to show how you can get the joystick uh, in your executed windows emulator application first of all if you want to get joystick in exegir windows emulator application you have to download the application called input bridge so basically this application specially developed by the exegir world so there are a lot of developers who are working for the exegir i'm really thanks to them for providing this application and providing for the exegir to work easily so i can get this access and show you to the all the peoples i really thankful to you so uh you need to download an application called input bridge so there is an application i'm going to provide the link in the description you can download from there only you need to download this application i'm going to show every detail a single thing every detail of this uh, application where you can create your own profile you can create your own joystick where you can kept the buttons so i'm going to show every single detail so you need to just download an application i hope you already having the executive windows emitter application if you don't have you can check out my previous video i have already explained i already made a detailed tutorial video on executive windows emitter application after after downloading this input bridge application from the link in the description you have to open this application so at first it will look like this so you have you can import any profile if you having profile uh, import if you have any profile of this any joystick for the game but in this video i am going to show you how you can create your own joystick so let me just click on this plus button so it will asking you want to create a new profile let me just click to yes so now here you have to get into the touch you have to click on this and here you have to click to edit controls so now i have to create my own keyboard so let me just show you how you can do that so let me just take this aside you have to follow every single detailed tutorial what i am uh, showing in this video to get a keyboard to your executive windows application or if you're getting any problem you can comment on my channel so i can help you so let me just uh, drag this here and just create so it will going to take some time uh, so i'm going to mute this video and you have you have to follow all the tutorials which i'm showing here
so as you can see in the screen i have created my own uh, own joystick over here so this is joystick circle and this is the stick so i've created my own gamepad you, you can create if you require any uh, key you can add like this so just now i've shown so let me just click uh, go back so i've done with the uh, editing of the keyboard you can adjust you can create as your own you can create your own you can do a lot of uh, you can add a lot of keys over here according to a game so i'm not going to provide any profile so you have to create your own keyboard it will good work for you because it will if you create your own it will going to work for every game some of the work for the game some of the knock some of the keys so if you know the keys of, of the games you can create your own joystick like this and there are a lot of buttons option over here as you can see and there are a lot of settings you can change the size so i've done the all the of creating my keyboard not let me just uh, back and you have to show controls when connected you have to check this and now you have to scroll here and you can uh, as you can see this is the profile zero and uh, now uh, you can select the where you have to put you have to put make sure it will be in the download only so i've cre uh, created my joystick so let me just click to uh, copy installer to root folder so as you can see it will going to open the uh, download folder so let me just click to use this folder and then click to allow so it will going to create a folder in the download folder so let me just click to close and you, you make sure you did not close the application completely you have to keep in this recent so as you can select like this now i am going to open the file manager and as you can see there before there is no folder now it will create the folder input bridge and here it installer so here all, all of the files have created now i am going to open the xigir windows emulator application so just now i've opened so you have to click on the three lines you have to click on the manage containers now you have to click on the run explorer so i am going to uh, launch the xigir windows emulator application so as you can see this is the application now it will going to open the file manager and it will going to access the d drive so i already mentioned make sure you have selected the uh, d uh, download folder of the uh, android internal storage in the input bridge application so as you can see this is the folder i have created in the download folder and it will showing up here so you have to open this folder and you have to click on the installer so as you can see this is there are some files first of all you have to open the the uh, the last file you have to click on the open it will going to kill the all the uh, controllers which have uh, been running in background now uh, you have to open the uh, the last second you have to open it after opening as you can see uh, there is a setting icon appear on the screen you don't you don't have to close this uh, uh, command as you can see there is a uh, window pop up over in the screen you don't need to close it completely you have just to minimize and you have to click on the setting button as you can see the joystick has been appeared in the screen now you can use it completely as you can see and one more thing i'm going to tell if you enable this uh, you can uh, open like this so you have before you have to open the game and then you have to enable the joystick so as you can see we have successfully enabled the joystick you can hide it like this you can enable like this you can hide it you can do uh, settings here from here only you can add uh, buttons from directly here and you can do back make sure you did not close completely the application of input bridge you have to be um, running it because it's running over here so as you can see this is the joystick this is buttons and this is all the buttons i have uh, set up over here so as you can see we have just successfully uh, added joystick buttons and it will perfectly working so in my upcoming video i make a video and on gaming uh, how you can install any pc game and how you can uh, play that game with this joystick so as you can see we have successfully uh, get the joystick uh, in the exeget windows emulator application so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if any question or problem let me in the comments thank you